Yes, we'll be in by tea if you don't hit it. Keep on the same course, Ronnie. Right. Coxon. Oh, so, so, so. Yeah. Not a pleasure cruise over, number one. Yes, sir. Can I give you an answer? Thanks. Now, what are you doing, Mr. Easel? Yeah, it depends on the bank balance. You, uh, you believe, Coxon? Yes, sir. We've got a wedding in our family. The T.I. is getting spliced to my sister. Really? Well, yeah. oh, it's fine. Don't forget my piece of cake. Okay, sir. Can I have written up? Yes, sir. Here, I'll try to get the salt out of these. Leave it to me, Swain. Well, it's got to be faced. One of us has got a Mrs. Neve. What's that? Oh, hello, Dickie. We were just talking about Arnold going sick. This was his turn to stay behind this time. Yeah. You weren't thinking of taking his place, were you? Oh, me? You. Not at all. Somebody's got to stay behind. I know that. Having tonsils at your age. Why didn't you have them when you were a kid? My mother didn't believe in it, sir. Yeah, well, we've got to fix this. Now, let's see. You're already staying behind, aren't you, Nobby? Yes. How about Tiggy? He doesn't mind missing his leave. Oh, and what about the T.I. here? And yourself, Cox? Now, you know as well as I do that Mike's getting mad at his leave. Has he happened to be mad at my sister? Oh, you two in this wedding. This is the third time it's cropped up. Well, sure it's not my fault that something always happens to interfere. Yes, well, nothing's going to interfere this time. That's right, Cox. Get them all tied up. Shoot the hatch. Flood the boat. You're done for this time, T.I. Who asked you to butt in, Hobson? I'd like to take a look at the petty officers now and again. It's good for discipline. I wish he was one himself. I'd have put him down for this. Don't you take me notice of him, Mike. Just because he's mucked up his own life, you get your do dance. I'll put Williams down for this job. And you can lump it. Yeah, but we ain't all got your sex appeal, Canada. Ah, oh, cheesy. Anybody can pick up a dame outside the factory. Sit still, jellyfish. I found a nice piece of homework myself last week. Works in a bank shop. Well, at least you ought to be good for a packet of Trenda, then. I suppose you'll be seeing the wife. What? I was talking to Dusty. Oh. Oh, she'll be parked outside the dock gates now. Can't get a female under 40 in my village. Why not, Oxford? The poles have billeted there. <laughs> <laughs> you nuns make me sick. Now you have to think about a leave with females, smart dames, homework. With all the ugly fizzles we're packed with here, what can you expect? You're safe enough, Spud. The women won't worry you. And why not? You've got no brass. Time you settle all your fancy bets on this trip, you won't have any dough left. I don't need money to enjoy my leave. You wouldn't need much anyway. I do to bet it'll be more than 48 hours. You like to bet on that? I'm not betting, man, but did he bargain it more than 48 hours? Oh, oh don't say it. Don't jump in your own tank. Slow stone, starboard, sir. Hello, Freddie. A nice, quiet trip. Yes, worth luck. I see you've sunk another couple of fishing specks. Yes, just a 10,000 tonner and a 4,000. What the hell do you work with, oh, Moore's Almanac? Any defects? No, sir. Crew all right? Just one case of tonsils, sir. Very well. The usual notice for sea. We give leave to one watch. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Gordon. Yes, sir. You going in the wardroom? Yes, sir. Forget me, Grover, two seven double seven, will you? Yes, sir. By the way, who are you seeing this leave? Your Aunt Margaret again? <laughs> I can't risk it, sir. Our husband's on leave. <laughs> so, one for you. Three for the skipper. Wild violets, jasmine, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Dick. Pink, indeed. Hi, sir. Hi, Steve. Nice trip. 
Very boring. Uh, Blood shave. Yes, I'm using a cut throat. Uh -huh. No call, sir. Uh, thanks. Two pinch please. I'll bring them up. And you, Drake? Uh, how's the guard? Good. How's the old man? Good. How's the bank balance? Oh. Oh, well, I'll have to manage on my pay. Now, listen carefully, Drake. I want you to ring Miss Seymour. Yes. And make a date for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Get a four-pound box of chocolates. Four-pound box of... There is a war on, you know, sir. Is there? I haven't seen much of it lately. Well, use your influence, Drake. Yes. Book two seats at the Hippodrome in the evening and a table at the grill afterwards. Yes. Now, Tuesday. Miss, um, Carter. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Miss, uh, Davis, I think. No, no, um, uh, hang on, Drake. Um, Make your mind up, Freddy. Uh, that'll be all for the present, Drake. I'll, uh, fix the rest with you tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye. If you two baboons had even the elementary instincts of gentlemen, you'd, uh, That's a nasty cough you've got, T.I.? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. Uh, something you want to see me about? I want to see Lieutenant Brace, sir. I'm afraid he's not here. Anything I can do? Oh, well, uh... Well, what is it? Well, it's about Petty Officer Arnold's leave, sir. See, somebody's got to stay and take his place. Yes, I think it's arranged uh, William stays. Uh, yes, sir. Well, that's just it. You see, it's very hard on poor William, sir, with his domestic troubles, sir, and his two youngest in hospital, sir. William isn't married, is he? Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. How else do you have two youngest, sir? You're not offering to forego your own leave by any chance, are you? Uh, yes, sir. But I thought you were getting married. What's the matter, T.I.? Cold feet? Oh, no, sir. There isn't a nicer girl in London, sir. It's just this... I think a man shouldn't rush at matrimony like. Oh, I quite agree. Uh, I think I'd like just to think it over a bit longer, sir, if you know what I mean. Very well, T.I. I'll fix it. Thank you, sir. Oh, T.I., uh, tell Hobson I want to see him in my cabin, will you? Come in. Oh, it's you, Hobson. Come in. I uh, wanted to have a little talk with you unofficially. Sir? No, thanks, sir. You know, I've often wondered about you, Hobson. Why you haven't gone a little higher in the service. I mean, you... You were fixed to do this duty. Well, you're going to do it. My name is not on that list, is it? That's beside the point. Well, that's good enough for me. Yeah, but there must be a mistake. There's no mistake. Look, you can see it yourself. Is there all right? But I can't believe it. Everybody knows I was going to get married tomorrow. I've got enemies in this ship. That's what it is. Well, something's got to be done about it. Ah, what's the use? An order's an order. Every time we try to fix something up, something happens to spoil it. Mm. We're powerless, Dickie. Play things in the hands of an unseen fate. That's what we are. Yeah, well, play things with foot. Anyway, don't you worry. I'll fix it. I'll see to that. But Dickie, I... Well, Jock, you were right about the leave. 48 hours. Ah, I just did said It's not what going ashore for. That's right. I knew you wouldn't mind staying behind. No, but that... Staying behind? Yeah, I'll put you down in Arnold's place. I knew you wouldn't mind. Nothing of the sort. 48 hours and one hour. I'm entitled to my leave for the Now, Jock, Jock, Jock I wouldn't ask Arnold. you to do something for nothing. Jock's volunteer to take the place. Come on, there's a boat just leaving. I can't go like this. I, I haven't got my kids. That's all right. Tug's looking after it. Come on, hurry. <laughs> Have a good time, Mr. Coxon. But keep up the beer. <laughs> Lucky for you, you didn't take that bet with me, Spud. What bet? About the leave being 48 hours. Lucky, did you say? It's the only bet out of one on the whole trip. Don't be balmy. Balmy? Hey, Tug, how long is this leave? Seven days. Seven? Seven? <laughs> That'll be enough for that, sir.
Oh, excuse me. Have you any cigarettes? Oh. No, thank you. Hello, Ripple. Dickie. Look what I brought you. Hello, Mike. Hello, Ethel. Put that light out. Mom is in that car. Good morning. Are you and chips for dinner? That's right, Miss Hobson. No use knocking. She's gone. Gone? To the shop? Aye, over a week ago. Here's a present for you. For me? Here you are, son. There's a football for you. Please report. See, Tiger returning to base. Head off to C and C. Repeat that voice. Right, no. Probably surprised at seeing it. What are they saying? Congratulations. What? Well, I'll be the Brandenburg, sir. Blind! 